go. Hey, what, how you all doing? I hope you're all doing good. I'm bringing you the demo of Tales of Ares. This is actually a very anticipated game. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to this game. Hmm? Pretty much we gotta read things and swear right. to use. Huh. So, open a little bit of audio, but. Uh, Don't get careless! Don't tell me! Alright, come on, big guys. Blah blah blah. I love it. Blah blah blah. This that that. Turn the tables on it. This ends now. Consider yourself finished. There you go, Elvin. It's time to end this. That is nice. Now, have I ever played uh, Air Tales of Ares? Or any of the Tales game? No. This is actually the first Tales game. Great. <sighs> I really, I really sure like this guy's mask. Swung and missed, right? It's not that part. <laughs> Uh, these guys are on each other's asses. I love it. I sure did. The part that you missed, right? <laughs> really take this? Don't see why not. Oh, looks like we got more enemy. I won't forgive you. No, against the. the, the the style kind of, you know, the interacting with enemies, like, that kind of reminds me of Final Fantasy. The old, the old style, how they did Final Fantasy in the PS2, how you just run into the enemy. Nice. Battle's already over. To pick off the bad guys from far off. It is. I mean, aside from adjusting for movement, wind speed, trajectory. <laughs> See, easy. Well, it looks like you got cooking and material grinding, which is cool. I mean, that, that's what they should have in RPGs. You can cook stuff. What is this way? Well, I'm gonna see what this way was first. Hey, Sheila, where does your gun come from? What do you mean, where does it come from? When you're fighting, it looks like it just appears out of nowhere. Oh, that's transferal technology. When I don't need my weapon, I submerge it in empty space. And when I do, I summon it. Make sense? Not really, but it sounds pretty amazing. Huh? Well, that way you don't have to carry around any heavy weapons or worry about enemies trying to steal them, right? It's a pretty cool invention. You realize you're praising the technology of your enemies, right? So? Technology is technology. It's not good or bad in and of itself. I guess that's true. Their enemies did not know that. Hey, Linwell, do you always have to say an incantation before you cast an art? Yeah. They don't really add any extra power or anything, but reciting them is what allows the astral energy to come together and flow through me. It takes time to complete, but they're what lets me use such strong magic in the first place. What happens if someone interrupts you while you're in the middle of chanting? Then I have to start over from the beginning. 
As soon as my concentration breaks, any astral energy I've accumulated disperses. Got it. So once you start reciting, that's our cue to make sure that no enemies can get near enough to disrupt you. Yeah, that would be appreciated. Although, I do have one fun trick up my sleeve. Once I finish chanting a full incantation, I can hold on to a single astral art without casting it right away. So once the astral energy's in place, you can choose to set it off whenever you want? That's amazing. Yeah, I don't fully have the hang of it just yet, but I'm sure it'll come in handy sooner or later. Huh, that's a cute bird. But yeah, that's cool. Almost like the uh, sacred arts. She can use it whenever she wants. Astral energy. That's cool. Hmm? What? Right. energy that's cool can oh well that oh, I go oh, should be in it should be easy huh oh, that's cool just as well I'm here to stop that's that's really cool using all this. That was cool. Yeah, I really can't wait to play actually play this game. What are those things I sometimes see you chuck out in the middle of fights? What? You mean my bombs? Bombs? As in the things people use to clear out rocks? But I could have sworn I saw something other than fire burst from some of yours. That's because these aren't ordinary bombs. They're specially made ones filled with astral energy. Hmm, okay. And why do you shoot the bombs after you release them? It's a part of my strategy. The effects of my bombs change when I fire bullets of a different astral element at them. It makes it difficult for enemies to predict what effect they'll have, or when they'll go off. One moment you're using powerful bombs, the next you're using powerful healing arts. They're kinda on the opposite ends of the spectrum, aren't they? Think of it this way. If you ever get caught up in the blast of one of my bombs and you manage not to die, I'll be able to heal you using my arts. Hmm. I'll do my best to not die then. <laughs> yeah, I'll do my best not to die. I've noticed that sometimes we come across enemies who fight like you and try to dodge our attacks at the last second. I hate those guys. I can get some hits in when they move in to attack but otherwise they slip past damn near everything else I throw at them. If what you're seeking is a way to more reliably hit them, there is a solution. Try to outclass them on reflexes? I possess the ability to command Earth elemental beings to some extent. They emerge as the land itself and take root on my command. They will swiftly bind the enemies, at which point you can dispatch them. Huh? Uh... What he means is that he can make plants grow to hold the enemies in place. At least I think that's probably what he's saying. I'm glad at least one of us understands him. So basically, if we find an enemy that likes to dodge, we should let Doholim handle it. I shall do what I can within my modest means to help. Oh, cool. He has the power of nature, basically. I 
can't wait for this game to come out, guys. This should be a good place to fight. Wow, Kisara. It's so big. You're, you're talking about my shield, right? <laughs> you're talking about my shield, right? Sure, she's talking about her sh your shield. Well, that is cool. I, I love that weapon. The blazing sword. Can you take care of them? That that is cool. We're clean at house. Let me take the way. Oh, that was cool. Nice. All aboard the victory train. Overconfidence can bite you in the butt. <laughs> She's not wrong. Not wrong at all. Now what would be cool is that your progress in this carries over to the actual game. Like the experience. Astral Arts, that's what I was thinking of. Good. Just have to make sure we keep it. I, I am just loving this. That is so cool. I love that skill. I can become even stronger. That's awesome. I never played the, any of the Tales games. I, honest truth, I never even heard of any of the Tales games. So I am loving this. Big guy. See what you got, big guy. Well, I am loving this, guys. I, I truly am. To like, you know, get used to the, the controls. I until I get used to the controls, I'm going to tell you, I am going to get way better. I can feel my power growing. Oh, that is cool. I can, I can see myself playing this game for hours. No joke. I, I, I really could see myself playing this game for hours. So can I go this way? Nope, I can't go that way. How do I... Oh, okay, that's how I sprint. You guys want to rest here? I came out great. Everyone's going to be real surprised. Hey, what's the smoke? Is it an enemy attack? Seriously, it's making my eyes and throat burn. The hell is going on? It's probably some sort of gas. Try not to breathe it in as much as you can manage. Gas? Those cowards! Isn't this just cooking smoke? What kind of food makes your throat burn so bad just from the smoke? I believe Alfin is. They're trying to gas Alfin? What? Those sick bastards! 
I won't let them get away with this! Calm yourselves and listen. I was simply trying to say that Alfin is the one cooking. Oh? Hmm. Maybe I should throw in some more spices, just for that extra kick. Yeah, that'll help. I think I'll turn up the heat while I'm at it, too. No. <sighs> oh, crap. The spices burned. Well, uh, at least the meat's coming along nicely. All right. Now I just flip it over, and then... Uh, uh... Uh, hey, Alfin? What, uh... What are you doing over there? Oh, Shion. Perfect timing. I actually just finished roasting up a chicken. Call everybody over so we can eat together. I used a ton of spices, so it's got a good punch to it. Might have overcooked it a little, but it should still taste good. I'm starting to understand why your food always tastes so damn spicy now. Hasn't anyone told him that it is actually possible to have too much of a good thing? If that's the taste he truly wants, far be it from me to contradict. His cuisine is a rather... delicate repast. Okay, I think that's the way I came from. Yeah, that's the way I came from. Yeah, I was trying to... my best not to laugh my the ass off by his cooking. This time. Most likely Zoogles, I would reckon. I mean, other than them. Alright, let's see what we've got in town. So basically, this guy cool. is cooking his bad. Huh. I'm gonna check town. Maybe. Hmm. I guess. That's unfortunate. I always hear you muttering to yourself whenever we're in battle. So, uh, just what are you saying? Why do you want to know? Does it bother you or something? Not really. It's just the way you talk is sometimes kind of creepy. So I was wondering if you vent your frustration through your magic. Are you yelling, you stupid jerk, or something like that to pump yourself up? What? No, that's not what's happening during my incantations. I'm just focused, so I match my tone to fit the mood of whatever I'm trying to invoke. Invoke? Uh, how do I put it? Basically, the elemental astral energy behind each arc, I guess. Astral energy? Hold on. Are you saying you can talk to astral energy? Uh, not exactly. But if I put emotion into what I say, it's easier for me to properly cast my arts. That makes sense? Kind of. Okay, so if you can talk to astral energy, then you can ask it to, like, predict the weather or find secret treasure? Wait, you don't really think that, do you? Or you can ask it to send down lightning to where there's bad guys lurking and... May lightning condemn those who bear foes! Thunderblade! Uh, what are you doing? You almost fried me with that! I just asked the astral energy to send down lightning where there were annoying boys. 
Tell me, Dohalim, has that skill of yours got a name? And what skill would this be, pray tell? You know, when you're talking to people around town. The way they suddenly become putty in your hands. I'm afraid I don't quite follow. I do. It's called friendly intimidation. Look imposing and speak in a deep, booming voice, and presto, you'll have people wrapped around your finger in no time. I would never stoop to such scandalous tricks. Any feelings of intimidation are solely in the eye of the beholder. So there is a knack to it! How do you learn it? Can anyone do it? Now you've got me curious. Is there special training to master? Hmm, let's see. An obsession with being elegant is a must. Oh, and it helps to be old-fashioned, too. Bonus points if you speak in a way no one can understand. If you've a bone to pick with me, it'd be quicker to just come out and say it. What? They look up to you, that's all. I'm just helping them along. Hey! What's got into Alvin and Law all of a sudden? I can barely understand a word they're saying. And what's with the weird poses? Was it something they ate? I hope you're willing to take the blame for this one. I wasn't expecting them to take me so seriously. I'll go and have a word with them. What do you all say to taking the path less trodden for once? Path? I don't see any path. Do you mean that thing that looks like an animal trail? Path may be a generous term. I'm assuming you know where it leads? Hmm. My gut says to a bridge. <laughs> Poodle says your gut's wrong. Really? Well, it is definitely in the right general direction. Not that main roads are necessarily danger-free, but he does have an uncanny knack for insisting on some strange and unique routes. Elfin always did like a challenge. Can't say I appreciate some of the more daredevil ways he's taken us, though. Like the landslide he insisted was a shortcut before disappearing off the edge? Nearly gave me a heart attack. I'll say, yet the intrepid explorer looked as happy as a pig in muck. Probably best we stick to doing our own orienteering in the future. Hey, so what about this route then? Maybe if we pretend we can't hear him. Don't you think the path forward is fraught enough without making extra problems for ourselves? Maybe best to reel it back. Good point. I say we stick to the main track like regular travelers for once. Uh, guys? <sighs> I will break down this wall! <gasps> Looks like trouble with capital P! Together, we've got this! It's time! Come on, take this! I'll tear you up! I think I'll pass on the hand! I'm only getting hurt! You picked the wrong fight. Nice. Here I go. Ouch. Sure. I'm sorry. I'll do better. In a Nice. Yeah, man, I am just loving this. I really can't wait for this game to come out. <laughs> blah blah blah. Air strike. But she is something else, man. I'm loving it. Blah blah blah. Air strike. Blah blah blah. Magic. <laughs> Huge ass mantis like This ends now! Consider yourself finished! Here, let me help. Is there no end to them? We're making some progress. Keep up the pressure. First aid. The enemy is going all out! You're mine! He's going all out? Oh, okay. Here I come. 
sorry to be a fog. We've all got enough on our hands. Yes, ma'am. It's weakened. I am just loving this combat. Take on a huge ass Mantis. It is just awesome. Thank you. Also, there's like a perfect dodge. If I dodge just right, I can counter it. Which is cool. She revived. Hold nothing back. Hurt malevolent. Don't mind if I do. A clear start. You're mine. So you're not you're mine. mine. Illuminate the sun. Come forth. Only clever. Only red. You're mine. Not today. Hurt malevolent. Take it. <laughs> she doesn't think he's level headed. Sure. Renan, you're Danon. There's no way. What could a Danon like you possibly gain from helping a Renan like me? You really can't feel pain? It's just another thing I don't have. I don't remember anything about my past. A man numb to pain, and a woman whose very touch deals nothing but. You're wrong. You think this curse is some kind of great ability? Ball's in your court, soldier. What do you say? I want to fight. 
to live and taste freedom! Let us finish this. We've got a better chance working together. It's only over when you give up. You can trust me, you know? And even lean on me. Until the day I died, I knew I would be alone. Now? I wish we had never met! Then I wouldn't have to feel this way! I have everyone to thank for that. Including... Especially you, Alvin.